Hi everyone, my name is Vincent Go and welcome to this new Substance Designer 5 tutorial. Uh, today we are going to continue to speak about um, uh, Pixel Processor uh, because this is the uh, tutorial where you are going to learn how to bake the, the normal into a diffuse uh, thanks to the Pixel Processor. Uh, so a few things to know before to start. Uh, first, um, in order to do this tutorial, you have to have done before the rotate normal map tutorials, because we are going to reuse a lot of work from it, and also to to understand the logic behind the normal map rotation. Uh, second, I want to thank uh, Guillaume Mollet, a 3D artist. Uh, that you are going to see here on Art Station, uh, a senior 3D artist uh, to whom I have the chance to work with at Ubisoft uh, is really really good. He has been working on the last Assassin's Creed, the uh, Dead Kings DLC, on different projects. So he's someone who is able to do extremely realistic uh, content, but also like way more. Uh, cartoony and, and stylized, uh, stylized stuff. So not only he's a good friend, but also a really talented artist. So I invite you to take a look at his, his work. Contact him if you are, if you need uh, to work with a really great, really artist. So anyway, for for this tutorial, he he, he was kind enough to uh, lend me this uh, this head and uh, as you can see here uh, we have a head um, actually there is no lighting here if you look at the parameters you see that I just put an ambient light and the uh, an ambient co uh, color to white and, and the, the lights are, are completely dark so all the information that you see here are baked in the map uh, this is not physically accurate but as you can see it, it does the job quite well and um, you have after some control on the result to, to play with the angle where the, the light is supposed to come from. So so far I'm going to put them to zero zero. So let's start. Um, before to start I have to tell you I've done this uh, as a test like uh, one month or two ago so I may have some time where I uh, forget what I have to do so I will refer to this graph. So first, let's create a new graph, but uh, in order to start from scratch. Um, so let's call it uh, World Normal Map Lighting Tutorial. And I want it empty. I'm just going to put the output now that I said to diffuse. And make sure that your default material is uh, to Lambert and as I show you make sure also that the ambient is pure white and the lights are pure pure black that way you you make sure that the, contrib the light contribution that you see is actually uh, the one f the, the result is baked in the diffuse you just see the diffuse for example to, to show you if I go here and I use this green one you see that there is absolutely no lighting information in the scene. Okay, so let's start. I go back to this one. And first of all, we have to, to bake some map information. Um, uh, so, in the resources, as you see, I have the low and high res mesh. So, I, what I invite you to do is to open it, open the baker and you need all these maps, the normal map from mesh that I use actually because I do some uh, other baking that use the, the pre-baked normal map so you need normal map from mesh and ambient occlusion, war space normal map, position map and thickness map which uh, actually uh, is like an ambient occlusion but the ray around Ins it looks inside the mesh uh, and it's really uh, useful if you want to fake uh, subsurface scattering which is like the the dispersion uh, of the of the light uh, below 
a surface like the skin or a candle for example and we are going, going to use this map to fake it so I, I won't do the, the, the bakes now because I did it already but it will be faster and in order to start you just need to use the world space normal map so which is this map as you see I assume that you know what is a no world space normal map and let's create a pixel processor node so, as I told you, uh, I assume that you have seen the, the rotate normal map tu tutorials because we are going to to, to use it uh, quite a lot. So basically what we did in the rotate normal map is a function like this one which is a bit complicated but basically it's separated in two, par two parts. Two parts, sorry. One is uh, the the rotation, physical rotation of the image that we won't choose, and the second one is this part, uh, a bit more complex in that graph, uh, which is the um, how to say that, say that the uh, the color rotation, the normal map color uh, rotation, which means that it uh, it changes the the color according to the new rotation value. So what I did uh, in order to make it a bit cleaner, I, cr I created two functions, which actually this one, which is the physical rotation the, from the center of the image, and this one, which is the normal map uh, color rotation. And we are going to use this one, uh, this one in our graph. So the good thing is once you have it, here I cannot if I do like this. It's just one node right now, so it's way cleaner. I will have to tweak it a bit, but at least uh, it will make it easier. So what you can do is to do control and drag and drop, and I'm going to drag and drop it here, so I can close this graph. No, well, I won't change anything. So now, where is it? I have this uh, rotate normal map color so let's go in this tutorial let's enter the pixel processor node and the first thing we do as uh, often often is to do a get float to like this because we want to grab the position of each pixel and we want to sample this image into this position for each pixel we want to sample this image so you use a sampler if you if you have seen my previous tutorial it should be quite clear in theory theory so I plug it like that and now as I want to rotate the normal map color I will put the color sampler here and I need a rotation value so so far I'm going to create a float and we will replace at the end by get float because this is this will be controlled by a parameter that we want to expose so let's make it this way this way let's be clean okay and now you put it oh, cancel sorry Se select this I set as output node and now if everything goes well Oh. oh, I know why. Because I have to select this one and I'm going to put a bigger value to 124. Okay, it was this image which was selected. So if I go here, edit, and I play with this value, you see that the color is rotating around. So that's exactly what we want. Now what we are going to do, once we've done that this first, we can plug it here. And in order to fake the light, uh, this is the first version, I will improve it, but first what we are going to do right now is to to use the the green channel only that we will consider as as a, our light source. You will see why. So what I want is to split the channel 
so RGBA split like that and I want just to take the the green channel and now I'm going to I'm going to show you something first I don't know yeah not the best way it's made but right now we are r rotating into the blue because we are controlling the green and red one so what I'm going to do first is going to the graph level by you double click on a, an empty spot and I will call it RG rotation it will be a float and I want an angle and it will be between 0 and 1 and default value to 0 so this is, I, I don't think I need to copy that and I go back here and I'm going to replace it now so what I do is I need a, a gate float and let's see if we have yeah we have the RG rotation and now this rotation is controlled by this parameter so let's see how it goes if I go here and I turn that you see that the light is turning around as if actually it's more visible so right now we control one axis which is cool uh, the thing that I would say is that it's cool but it's not completely accurate because here if the light comes from this part you don't expect uh, the ear here to be that much lit so that's something that we are going to control with the um, position map and what you can do now is for example let's use the position map and you can directly duplicate this and in theory it should work and I'm going also to do the same with this so I, I duplicate it as well and let's see how it goes so we see that right now we have a position map I think we did green as well um, let's, do, let's do a blend node like that okay so oops sorry I want the, this one and in theory with this parameter it will control them both yeah so you see that this is controlled so we are going to use it as well but by default I think uh, by default it should be fine so let's do something we are going to blend them both together let's do multiply Maybe multiply will be too much let's see okay so you see that it's way more believable and if I play a bit you see that just by adding the position map and use it like a kind of a shadow to make a gradient it gives something way more believable we're going just to try something to test let's look at this and let's see if there is a better multiply should be fine but who knows let's try different one copy of course let's give you the just the, the position map this one is not feasible because it's just adding subtract is not what we want this one is so far our best candidate let's continue this one is too bright no 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 maybe overlay will work we'll see overlay now you see overlay it's it's I think we will stick with the end screen screen is not believable but as I see it's not physically accurate but our best candidate right now is this one definitely so let's continue a bit. Um, I used also a map called thickness and we are going to use it. So as you see, I'm going to put it directly here so you see it better on the model. Actually what it does, it looks at the model and 
and the the closer it is um, between it really project rays inside the mesh so that's why on the ears it's really uh, it's really dark here yeah, it's quite you see that there is some points so okay let's use that but what we want to do first is to invert that so you can use a lever for example or invert directly invert grayscale And we are going to let's move that a bit. Oops, sorry. Let's invert that like that. And what we want to do is this to be a bit tinted when it's on the shadow. I see. So what we are going to do is to use this to to control that. So let's try some something. So we we will need a blend. Actually, you know what? Let's look just to make sure. So here I inverted. I, I changed a bit the value in the with the level. So maybe I will do this way. And then um, just by taking the okay. So could do this way. I tinted it. Slightly. Okay, so we'll, let's make sure of what we have done. Hmm, I used the ambient occlusion. Maybe I could do that first. So basically, I took this. I use. I added the ambient occlusion. Quite a bit of of shadow in the in the closey part. Played a bit with the levers. See that? Actually, it's inverted. Yeah, I inverted it, and I blend it with the uh, this in order to fake the. Okay, so let's try to do something like that. It won't be exactly the same, but we are going to try to do to get closer. So first, have my ambient occlusion here. I'm going to make a first blend. <laughs> Like that, so blend, blend this, this, multiply again will be the good one. And uh, you see that it's way too strong right now, so I'm going to diminish the value to something actually. Actually, no, it's not. It's good. It wasn't the the same one. Like that. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, it's quite good. And now we need to use this. Let's see that. It's just a blend. Blend now. Um. Let's subtract just to see. So it was this way, right now it's this way. It may be too strong, yeah? I don't know. Let's use it first this way to see how what we can do. Okay. Actually, we still want to subtract where it's on the shadow, so I have to find a way to do that in a good way. So. Let's use a blend node. Let's use a blend node. So I will use the position. Sorry, there is a bit of noise. Everyone is coming back from lunch. So let's play. What we want actually is to make sure that when we're in the shadow, we see a bit of it, but not that much. So maybe. We'll try. Ah, this is not what we want. Mm, this one multiply. No. Actually, we want the contrary. So. Ah, this one is fine. Uh, it's the max. So actually, it's like adding a bit here. 
The max is not that bad. Let's continue. No. This could be fine if it's inverted. Um, so here, no, no, no. Okay, so let's try with this one. Well, okay, and then what we're going to do is to add a gradient map to this gradient map like this. And what I'm going to do with that is to I'm going to go on internet like that here, and I'm going to type a subsurface. Subsurface, and let's look at the image like that. Um, and I'm going to use this just to see if it works. I'm going to put on the left screen, sorry, you won't see it. Uh, so, and I'm going to go here, go to the gradient editor, which is there, and I'm going to use the peak gradient and try to use something like that. Oh, there is points that I definitely don't want here. Like that. Okay, let's see how it goes. Okay. Okay, so we have something that could be interesting here. And what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to add a gradient node as well, but as it, it seems to be a black guy, so I will type. Um, a free can portrait like that. So let's find a good image. Um, I want it with where I have some color variations. So let's. I'm going to go with this guy. And same thing. I'm going to create a gradient map like this. And uh, gradient decor, so peak gradient, and I'm going to try to go from dark to black, like this. Okay, it's not okay. It seems good. Well, there is some artifacts here. Maybe in the gradient editor, I can diminish the precision. Like that. Uh, so if I do five, okay, you don't need that. Yeah, you can simplify a bit. Okay, so like that, it seems to be good. What I'm going to do now here, <laughs> it's it's pretty bad, I think. So I'm going to just try to. This one for for sure actually. So I have to find another one. First, you know what? I'm going just to use it. This this way, which is actually too strong. But what I'm going to do now is to mask it out according to the invert of that. So this I delete. This I'm going to create a level node. And in the level node, I'm going to invert. Oops, sorry. It's not this one that I want to invert, it's this one. And let's see how what we can do with that. And we're going to blend uh, blend it, let's see. Octillium like that. Okay, it's way less stronger. So now that I have that, I'm going to go here, create a blend node, and go here, this way, and of course it's way too strong right now, but here, we can do first multiply maybe, no, multiply we don't want that, so let's see in copy, and let's diminish the value actually, yeah. Uh, 
I think we need to remove this color here. And this one. Still, the result is not exactly what we want. So I think we have to play a bit with the parameters. Uh, do we have time? I'm going to play like uh, two or three minutes uh, with it, and then I will finish it on a second video. So here we say we are going to re replace that by something else. Actually, I'm going to replace by a level. I'm going to put it here. Of course, that's not what we want, but by doing that, I have more control on the color spread. So, so let's see. Now, if I play with this parameter, I can diminish the impact of, uh, of that. And actually, I'm going to make it okay, like that. And this, I'm pretty sure if I put this back to full like that, it's all obviously it's not good. But what I want to do is first to find and here I'm going to. To make it okay. something like that. And this hmm, I don't like at all. So let's put it this way first. Auto lever. Okay, and this I'm going to change it a bit. So I'm going to put this like that and let's play. This could be closer to no we don't see the one, the other one. Hmm, it's really tough to obtain what we want. So I think we really have to make it here first. So, let's go ahead to put something. Okay. So, let's go back to here. So, what we can do? Let's go back. Let's try to use it from here. To use this as a mask. So, basically, we really want this to appear. So this, I'm going to do reset values. Okay, so this is the invert, and we want to make sure that we hide in the white part. So let's add some contrast. Okay, let's see that. Uniform color. Let's use that. Blend node. If we put that here and this way, okay, it's way darker, way more subtle. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so in theory it will be way more subtle, and I have some control with the mask here. So if I want to make it even darker. Okay, so I could even use this as a mask actually. Okay, 
Okay, it's not that bad. I see it a bit, it's a bit too too rough. So first, what we could do is to go into the, the gradient map. Maybe remove that. And second, this is way too too rough. So if I do that, you see that we start obtaining something interesting. And then we can decrease the value a bit. And what we are going to do is here also is maybe make this point a bit brighter. Okay. Okay. So I will stop it from now. For now, let me check if I remove that. And this, I put it this way. Okay, so this is our first test. It doesn't work that that bad, I would say. Uh, in the next one, what I I will do is tweak a bit, continue to tweak a bit the color, and uh, um, I will also, you know what? I'm going just to move that a bit this way, so we will have more color variations. So in the next one, what we are going to do next video is uh, to go back in the pixel processors and add another axis because right now as we said we just control one axis um, this one which is cool but I'm pretty sure you guys want to be able to to control more than one axis so that's what we're going to do we're going to to make sure we we, we have the full control oh, let's, let's continue okay can you see that it's way too strong but that's some stuff we are going to tweak in, in the next tutorial we are, we are going to make sure that we get the value we want first and all second that we oops, just remove another one and place this one here okay so thank you for watching I'm going just to change that while speaking because this is way this is pure black and I don't think we want I'm going to go and take another one here or this one ok so this is uh, our first attempt, I hope you like it uh, once again if you have any questions don't hesitate to add them in the comment and so the next one as I told you will be about adding a new axis to the pixel processors node and playing a bit with this different mask in order to get a, a more satisfying result. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.